Hello everyone. Over at spaceweather.com under current conditions, the proton density is sitting at 169.5 right now. That's pretty hectic. Now Mark says there are some strange fluctuations going on right now. Now the protons and electrons and cubic density is what that is, which is how many or how much charged particles are hitting us. So that's a highly dense wave of radiation and charged particles hitting. Nothing like I've seen. Hopefully it doesn't mess with our magnetosphere too much, but we are monitoring that. But that density number is usually at a 3 when it's quiet and like a 7 or an 8, maybe 9 or 10 when we have coronal holes, like geostorms. Um, one year during a series of big solar flares, we watched it reach 60 and thought that was intense. Now it's sitting way over 100 and all models are showing the same spikes. Um, I figured it was just a glitch at first, but everything is pointing towards a huge spike. Or actually, multiple huge spikes. It's like waves or pulses. Boom, boom, boom. Um, so this is something to keep our eyes on and see how the magnetosphere models or magnetosphere models react to this. So far, this is what the models are doing. I'm going to show that, and then I want to talk a little bit about um, what to watch for earthquake-wise, volcanic-wise, etc. Okay, so up in the left-hand corner is the date and then the time. Now you can see it being hit. Boom, 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 boom. Compression. It's being compressed. Okay, so you'll see the waves come in from the right to the left and just smack and boom. 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 So it's like pulses hitting. Boom. Boom. Okay, so uh, we need to keep an eye on these models, and I showed you what the normal models look like. So, as we watch these models, we'll kind of be able to see how the density and how, or how the proton density and how the waves of energy or the pulses of energy um, react with our magnetosphere. So, as we monitor that, I will get back with y'all on that. Now, I think I'm going to grab another thing that I want to show right here, and then I'll be right back. So if the models are holding true and the proton density is really that high or we are having spikes that high because it's spiking way up and then it's going way down on all models, then we really need to watch for earthquakes and we need to watch for volcanic activity over the next two weeks. Now, it can happen in an hour, it can happen in a couple hours sometimes when it hits, uh, maybe a couple days, but we need to extend that to about two weeks and watch this two weeks as the charging is happening and, you know, the heating of Earth's core. And now there's a page called EMP, um, I think it's EMP Data. I'll look that up in a minute and I'll add it here when, it, when I edit. I'll add that on here so y'all can see it. Um, but they show ionospheric or ionospheric charging. And in certain areas where there is ionospheric charging, like black, white, things like that, the extreme charging after all these charged particles come in. You can watch those areas charge over, I mean, a week to two weeks, and then there's usually really big earthquake activity in those areas where the charging is taking place. So I'll show those models and that page. You'll need to go follow that page also. Um, so I think we should keep an eye on, you know, volcanoes and earthquakes and all that over the next couple weeks, depending, really depending on how reliable or credible this information is. When it comes up on multiple different models and all that, then it gets more and more um, credible. But it's just really, really, really weird to see that high of a spike. I've just never seen that. Um, so I always have my guard up. But I will keep watching. If you know anything or you see anything or you hear of anything, let me know. And if I hear of anything else or anything changes, um, I will post it below in the comments. But um, anyways, we'll keep an eye on this together and the team's keeping an eye on this. So uh, go follow everybody over there and we'll keep everybody updated on this. All right, thanks.